Have you ever had the situation where a woman just went out with you for your money and you could tell she didn't really respect you, she didn't really have a genuine connection with you, she wasn't really very interested in you, but she was interested in you buying her shit and taking care of her and this and that. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're going to talk about the pressing topic on everyone's mind, does money get you women? Is money necessary to get hot women? Do broke guys still get hot women? Okay, is there a big discrepancy between guys with money and guys that are broke in terms of their advantage to get women? Okay, so all these questions and more will get answered. Okay, before we continue, I wanted to roll a short clip of some recent success from my programs. So let's take a look at that. Tall white chick, Asian guy. He's wearing decent clothing here. All I heard was, what do you know about Tanaka? All I heard was, what do you know about Tanaka? You're like, I know you. <laughs> In the back right now. Go. We had a we had a female camera. I had like a five person cameraman team. This one. and that's it. Ta da! So as you can see, uh, short Asian guys can still pull tall white chicks. So if you'd like to get results like that, do not hesitate. You can jump on a free thirty minute call. We will get you to all your goals and game very quickly. Blast out all your weaknesses and game very quickly, and everything will finally make sense. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so free 30 minute call, link in the description there. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber or new to the channel, welcome. And we offer very straightforward, productive, practical seduction advice. No woo woo nonsense, no theoretical bullshit. You can subscribe below, press the notification bell for two new videos every single day. Okay, now these times every single day, by the way, are going to be 12 p.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Eastern, okay, with a content video and a reaction video. So remember, to check out the videos at those times, okay? So, the topic of money with women. I've been coaching this stuff for over 10 years. I've had lots of guys that spent the last of their money on my training, okay, of their, of their free liquid money, I should say. And they took the training being broke or having relatively low funds. And I got most of those guys very, very, very good. Okay, some of them were living at home. Some of them were in a tiny studio apartment. It didn't make one fucking bit of difference. Okay, I've also encountered tons of clients over the years that came to me sucking with women, but having lots of money, and surprise, surprise, they still sucked with women. So it's not some magical fix that you do well in business, and all of a sudden you have all these hot girls in your life, okay? And it's also not the case that if you don't have a bunch of money, that you're totally fucked or you're totally screwed with women, okay? So let me go into the different points here about how money can play a factor in the seduction and pickup game. Okay, number one, girls don't know how much money you have. Unless you're wearing like a super nice watch or driving a super nice car or living in a super nice place, they're not gonna have any idea about how much money is in your bank account. Okay, it's, it just doesn't, and they're not gonna really ask. They might make an inference based off your job, but it's mostly a threshold thing. Unless you're like a total loser, you know, living on the streets or unless, you know, like I said, I've even had lots of guys living with their parents and it doesn't matter. And even banging at their parents' house, that, that doesn't matter either, okay? So it's only gonna make much of a difference if the girl is like a gold digger girl that's specifically looking for guys with money to just use and abuse, okay? Have you ever had the situation where a woman just went out with you for your money and you could tell she didn't really respect you, she didn't really have a genuine connection with you, she wasn't really very interested in you, but she was interested in you buying her shit and taking care of her and this and that, okay? There's a lot of girls like that and they're just looking to play guys, okay? And I get guys that come to me and they say, hey man, I trade away all my money to just get a hot girl in my life that's giving me her genuine affection. And they don't want a girl that's just sticking around for the money, okay? So if anything, that money can be like a, a lure for like the wrong type of girl, okay? However, uh, you don't need the gold digger types like that. And with the proper system in place, you're going to generate lots of hot girls into your life, okay? And then you can use your money to just enjoy your life with the girl as you see fit. Okay, it's nice to have a partner in crime. If you look at studies revolving happiness, usually after your basic needs are met, there's not much added happiness for adding more money or more possessions into your life. Okay, there's like a sharp leveling off. But if you don't have your basic needs met, that becomes a serious issue. Okay, most of you watching this probably have your basic needs met. Okay, you're, you're on a computer or your phone using the internet to watch this video. So that's probably not the problem. Okay, so more money isn't going to help you get those girls. Okay, it's nice to do well in business. It's nice to have more money as it can give you more freedom and more advantages in life to, to do certain things. 
But in the seduction game, it's not going to make that much of a difference unless you know, you're attracting the wrong type of girl or unless the wrong type of girl is trying to be in your life, but again, for the wrong reasons, okay? So don't focus on you know, making more money and, and, and thinking that money is going to be the big shortcut to getting the girl because I can promise you I've had lots of clients that were very wealthy that are not getting laid for many months or many years, okay? It's not just a magical fix that all of a sudden you have money and the girls come flocking to you, okay? You need to learn exactly how to text. You need to learn exactly how to run your dates, exactly how to build your online profile, exactly how to do your online messaging, exactly how to talk to a stranger in public when you walk up at a bar or club. And a lot of you watching haven't even ever spoken to a stranger before or you're terrified to go up when you see a hot girl. Okay, you see that hot girl, your heart starts pumping in your chest, you feel the rush of adrenaline, and you think, oh, she probably won't like me, or oh, I don't think this, I'm good enough for this girl, or if only I knew what to say, if only I knew what to do. Okay, I have all those answers for you. I have the keys to the castle, so to speak. I've done it all thousands of times. I've helped thousands of clients around the world do it thousands more times. Okay, and it's a proven system that works. That is the only thing separating you from your goals in dating is this proven system, okay? And that's what I provide. You can jump on that free 30 minute call if you wanna hear more details about that. But you guys need to like shift your priorities, okay? If we were to take two guys, one had his basic needs met and he were to go through my training and this guy just crushed business, okay? This guy, and you know, you run it a hundred times. In the vast majority of cases, this guy is going to absolutely crush how this guy is doing and his skills with women. And that's because he knows how to reliably move a girl from the point of meeting all the way to closing and beyond. Okay, my system has four major parts. There's a lead acquisition at the top. It's online game, nightclub game, you know, bars and clubs, daytime game, street smalls and cafes. That filters down into phone numbers. Then your lead management portion, how you work those phone numbers over text message. That's the big piece number two. Piece number three is how you close those leads. How do you get the girl to come home with you from a date? How do you get her to hook up with you back at the house? And then of course, the lead retention is the fourth phase. How do you keep that girl around? Or how do you keep those girls around? Whether you're seeing a bunch of girls at once, or you're with a monogamous dream girlfriend, or eventually with a lifelong soulmate, okay? In order to have more options with higher quality women, you need to know all the ins and outs of how to move them through that whole process, how to move them down through that funnel. If your lead acquisition is terrible, you're not even gonna get phone numbers. If your lead management is terrible with texting, which most of you guys have big problems with that, you're not gonna be able to get many dates, okay? Are you running your dates wrong? Think about the last five dates you went on. Did they go well? Was it awkward? Did the girl flake? Did the girl give you an excuse not to see you again? Did she stop replying to your messages? How often does it happen to you guys that you match go on Tinder and you can't get her out on a date or that you can't even get a match in the first place? Okay. There's areas where your game can fail at every single level. Okay. And when you have them all compounding, you're hitting complete bottlenecks. And a bottleneck is where the funnel closes. Okay. And there's no chance of a girl making it to the bottom or a very, very, very low chance, which might happen once in a while with luck, which is you know, far different than skill, to get the girl through the whole process. When you have a proven optimized system, you're gonna be able to move her reliably down from open to close with the best chances, which gives you the most quantity of options and the most quality of options as well. And then it's up to you who you want to have and the balls in your court. And you get to select from a whole host of, of high quality, full package women, instead of just settling for whatever you can get, if anything, okay? So there's two paths you can go in life. You can just take whatever comes to you, which is gonna be not much, and probably not very good quality and possibly not even anything, okay, and get into your 40s or 50s or even beyond and still be extremely dissatisfied with your dating life and, and not having a, a solid full package woman in your life. And at some point, it's going to feel like it's too late, okay? So the time to take action on this is now. The time to let me help you with this is now. And it won't take months or years. It'll take a short matter of weeks, okay? So don't hesitate. Jump on that free 30-minute call. It's important to still have your life handled. I'm not saying, you know, fuck off your business goals. Uh, if you're running a company, you're, you're excelling in business, you're doing well with crypto trading, et cetera, et cetera, you're an engineer or a computer programmer. All that stuff is very good. You should give yourself a pat on the back and you should find your dream partner to share your life with, okay? Getting more money isn't gonna, isn't gonna solve the problem. I can assure you that. I speak to guys every single week that have done extremely well financially and, and have that whole area completely handled and never need to work ever again 
but they still don't have the, the hot girls in their life or the, the dream girl that they want because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to move things forward. They don't know how to bring the girl home from the club. They don't know how to build their profile online. They don't know how to run their date. They don't know how to interact with the girl when they're back at their house. There's so many points of confusion and so many things that are not clear that you add them up all together and it's just a big point of frustration. Okay, and they go to search for help online, which a lot of you have done, and that doesn't help either in most cases. A lot of the videos on the internet are just plain scammy. They're misleading you on purpose. They're giving you a lot of theoretical feel-good stuff so that you get out your card and buy their programs, which give you more theoretical feel-good stuff, which makes you get out your card and buy more programs. And this just goes on forever, but all at your expense, okay? You're not getting better. You're not getting the results you want, okay? You need to ask yourself the very serious question. Do you have that dream girl that you want right now? Okay, if the answer is no, do you have a plan to get her? If the answer is no, that's where I come in. Okay, I do have an optimized game plan for you. I do have an optimized system. It's worked time and time again, okay? And I wanna share with you guys one more example of those results. Today I'm here to give my review of OC Cam's Razor by John Anthony. I bought this product about a year and a half ago or so, and ever since then my life has changed uh, in a huge way. I'm getting higher quality women. I'm not getting rejected like I was before. I'm matching with better women online even. I'm having more fun on dates. I'm just having an overall better life. John's product will teach you everything you need to know. This is gonna be the last thing that you would ever need to buy. So now you guys see, okay? And there's many, many, many videos like this. I have a whole giant archive of these. I've been doing this for over a decade, okay? I really enjoy taking guys from whatever level they're at, getting them their dream girlfriend, and seeing them go on and live an amazing life with a partner in crime. If it doesn't work out with that particular girl for whatever reason, they have the skills to replace her and get another girl like that very quickly, okay? So don't hesitate, jump on a free 30 minute call. We will sort you out, get you very good at the game. This will be the final piece missing to make you at a proper place of being happy and fulfilled in your life, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe below, like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line, I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game, I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.